Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Reverend Lydia coming to us with a word of encouragement. A bright day given to us to live for the Lord. This morning, I started off by going to hospital and I want to thank God that all is well and we are well. And this morning, I would want us to talk about be humble. A call to remain humble. The Lord is calling you and me to remain humble in this life. Nothing in life is permanent. Therefore, God expects you and me to remain humble. The more God blesses you, the more he expects you to remain humble. Shall we please read 2 Chronicles chapter 26 verses 15b to 16. King Hosea's fame spread far and wide, for the Lord gave him marvelous help, and he became very powerful. But when he became powerful, he also became proud, which led to his downfall. He sinned against the Lord, his God, by entering the sanctuary of the Lord's temple and personally burning incense on the incense altar, the word of the Lord. This scripture is bringing to us a young king who started off very well in the Lord. He sought the Lord. He did everything that pleased the Lord. If you're to read from the beginning, he pleased the Lord and God was gracious. God became, helped him to become very powerful. But as a result, he became proud, which led to his downfall. This morning, the Lord is calling upon you and me to remain humble. Despite the success, despite the positioning and the promotions in our life, the Lord is challenging you and me to remain faithful. The Bible says that resist the devil and he will flee from you. And the Bible says that the Lord resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. So we need to resist the enemy that comes to us through this silent killer that is known as pride. When the king became famous, wealthy and powerful, he became so full of himself. Very often when God positions us, when God opens doors before us, when he allows his wealth to come our way, we are tempted to become proud. And this is likely to lead many to be unfaithful. And as a result, there will be a serious downfall. So the call this morning is remain at the feet of Jesus. The call this morning is remain faithful. The call this morning is remain humble. Because remember, pride goes before destruction. If one is filled with pride, I believe there is no room for wisdom. And people without wisdom very often make bad choices. And bad choices lead to disappointment, depression, and destruction of the goals, the dreams, and our work. May God lead you and me, the children of God, to remain faithful, to remain humble, and above all, to remain at his feet. When the Lord gives you success, when the Lord opens the big doors before you, when the Lord brings promotion, as a matter of fact, I believe that many of us have witnessed and experienced promotion in our lives, but may God help us to remain wise and humble and remain at his feet. With God, everything is possible. Remember, pride goes before a fall. The Lord resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. May humility fill us just like Christ himself remained humble. He remained humble to the point that he accepted to die on that cross for you and me. May we remain humble 
that God may finish his work in our lives. That when we go back to him, he will say, well done, good and faithful servant. May God help us. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day. For indeed, you're reminding us that you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Thank you for bringing this king to our attention who started off so well, became powerful, became successful, but the success got to his head and he forgot about you. He sinned against you and he, lay, he walked in pride. We pray that success, promotion, wealth, favor will not get to our heads. We shall remain humble and at your feet. And indeed, you will continue to lift us up always in due season. My brother and sister, may the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord help you remain humble. In the name of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.